Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight we're going to do a toolbox tour. I'm going to try to do better than I did on my first one. Actually my very first video of this channel was a toolbox tour. Um, basically also too wanted to you know, show you guys you know, what I do. Uh, it's, as a, it's a hobby. I, uh, I appreciate my tools as much as I appreciate my flashlights you guys I'm big into both of them um, I'm, I'm more of a collector I do collect tools but I do use my tools uh, I'm not I'm not a mechanic or nothing I'm just a um, you know everyday average Joe and just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, basically just show you guys what I do um, actually we're gonna come over here we got Gizmo, he's gonna be in the video. Say hi, Giz. Um, right here, this is where I keep all my just uh, quick draw screwdrivers. I got some good screwdrivers in here. We got some Stanley 100s, uh, some Mac. All them wood handles are Mac, except uh, that dark wood handle one. That one's this real quality, you don't even, it's not even stamped. But I there's some uh, pliers back there, needle nose. Just quick draw stuff, some SK, and then uh, these are the my if it's sticky. This is my solution right here. This takes care of everything. Got goof off, goo gone, um, parts cleaner. This gets rid of all your sticky stuff. Then right here we got the towel holder and uh, glove holder, and then. Uh, Right here, I got some Mac uh, magnetic trays. All these are magnets, you guys. I put my stickers on my little garbage pail. That's how I put my stickers. But uh, this is where all my little nuts and screws and stuff to hang stuff and fix stuff. And then uh, we got some ox wall, ox wall wrenches and some uh, Easy Red cup holders. It's pretty dull. I gotta dust this. And then over here, um, got a set of Milwaukee screwdrivers. You guys will see I got overkill on a lot of stuff, but um, these are the Milwaukee screwdrivers. Got another Stanley 100 Plus. Uh, some blast, PB blaster, some lithium, I think, yeah, liquid wrench, WD 40. These are all my oils, um, three in one. Got some Marvel and Good stuff back there. And then I got a couple chargers, double towels down there. Uh, keep some batteries. Then over here, I uh, got my little uh, whiteboard. And then this is all my brushes. I got a, a brawn under the hood light and brushes. Uh, this is where I film all my videos for flashlights and um, tools. I got some uh, Craftsman new stock back here. My goal is to fill this whole wall out. I got, actually, I'm going to add these, some Oxwell, um, made in the USA. They're not stamped, but they got like these little thumbs. Kind of cool. So I'm going to add these, probably with these Craftsman. These are new old stock. And these, I just got to put these up. This right here will go right here, fill in that piece. But I kind of want to make it as a puzzle, as a back backdrop. And then, uh, oh, dude, I didn't even get down here. I got some, uh, them Hyper Tough. I got the 36. I got some Snap On and some more Hyper Tough pry bars. Um, and then here we got some more. I got some Mac pry bars, Snap On, and an SK. And then right here, uh, I got the Inflator. I got a cobalt, this is a XTR, pretty powerful. Uh, I use it to clean, it's a, they got the kit for this, pretty good, cleans a lot of stuff. I uh, got the die grinder and the cutoff wheel, very useful. Both these, all, actually all three of these, I use all three of these a lot. And then uh, my uh, Ernst bit holder, um, actually I just take, basically fill it up and I put all my cases and them boxes right there. I got one of the bottom box is full of Milwaukee, Makita, and DeWalt bits. 
so I get the, I got them out of the box. I did a little rearranging. Also, too, you know, I need a little help if you guys uh, got any ideas because I want my pliers are taking up a lot of space, and I want to kind of I want to put them here, but I got my I don't want to give up this drawer for my screwdrivers, and then this one I don't want to give up for the sockets. So I'm kind of uh, got to figure out some. But uh, yeah, this is def this comes in handy. You just grab the whole thing, and uh, um, you got your bits there. Uh, this right here is the Milwaukee screwdriver, and I see this gets a lot of slack. And mine's excellent. I can break screws with this. I use this. This is my main bit right here. I think it's a Irwin USA. This is an older bit, but I use that a lot. That's like my main bit, and I can break heads of screwdriver. This one's powerful. I might have a. I don't know, I, but I hear a lot of people don't like it. It's a screwdriver, you know what I mean? It's not a, um, it's way more powerful than any hand twisting I can do for sure. But uh, yeah, this right here too, a um, little top off. All right, we're going to get into the drills, or the drills. We're going to get into the drawers. I'm sorry, you guys. I got a Tecton little, this is a, nothing big, but um, just a, uh, light duty that's the word i'm looking for i'm sorry vice i use it and it works for light duty i'm looking for some heavy duty ones oh, i forgot down here i got some purple power um some vapo rust windex some lysol and some windshield cleaner got my little milwaukee fan okay first drawer and if you guys notice my favorite brand of tool is mac um it's been that way since the 80s. I, I like Snap-on. I like Craftsman. They were my runner-ups. And, uh, you know, I like it a little bit of everything. This uh, toolbox tour is going to have a little bit of everything, you guys. Um, this is a little 29-piece Mac grip set. Let's see if I can show you guys these. Nice little set. I, honestly, I really don't use that too much, to be honest. I'll show you the one I use like all the time. And this is a 10-piece extractor. Haven't had to use that yet, so thank God for that. And this is another. This is a screwdriver set, I think. Yeah, this is that one that was made in Germany. The little twist handle, or whatever. And then, uh, I got some test leads, you guys. The Mac scrapers, and then this is a little pressure pressure gauge, and then this is a stud puller. I might as well try to give you guys a thorough thorough review. And then uh, this drawer, that, and I like these boxes, you guys, these Milwaukee boxes. I do plan to get rid of that one. That one's not big enough. I'll explain that when I get over there. But these ones are perfect for me. Um, got a Blue Point soldering kit. Uh, this is a Craftsman little, um, uh, what's that called? Uh, gift set. <laughs> And this is a Craftsman timing light, a chrome one. And I got a hole saw kit and then a amp tester and then a, another light tester. All right, so this is the drawer I don't want to give up, you guys. This is my uh, screwdriver drawer and picks. Um... Yeah, I might have to if I want to get all them um, on my um, pliers. But uh, anyways, I got this Williams. I had this now going on, I think, over two years now, a little while. And I got it as a 19-piece set. When I got this, I think the original price on it was like 115 And I got it for 108 They had 5% off or whatever, 7 whatever it was. And it comes with these Bacos, and I use these a lot. I use these Bacos, and I use this one and this number two. These are the main ones. But and look at this guy right here. This is like a pry bar for sure. Nice. Basically, these are the old snap-on screwdrivers, you guys. Same handles. Actually, here's a snap-on 
just miniature size, same handle. You can see it's, you know, they're just uh, Williams. Snap on belt Williams, I believe in 2000 and 20, all right, 90, 1990. I'm tripping. Somewhere in there, 1990. Uh, this right here, this is my main Mac set. I mean, like, when I need a bit, this is, uh, it has everything, you guys. Um, this is what I use. This is my main. When I don't know what size, I'm just putting that. I always have the size. I got this one right here. Actually, I got this at a estate sale. I think it was estate sale. I'm gonna say everything estate sale because I get a lot of my stuff from garage sales, mainly estate sales. Um, and uh, yeah, I got these long. I just wanted this kit. I've been looking for this kit, and I finally got it. It's a ratchet and screwdriver. And then uh, I got this gear wrench set. I've had this for a while. It's a great set. Um, you can use these bits in the in the snap on. I got the snap on uh, the pistol gun one, the gear wrench one with the light works uh, if you're needed in a dark place and you know, it spins into the same thing as a snap on a little knock off I guess. Another snap on. These are some picks, uh, Olmans. I got the snap on. I got this for Father's Day a couple Father's Day ago. Great set. Um, like I said, it's basically. Uh, nice grips. Um, then I got a, some cabinet, Mac cabinet, and then a Williams ratcheting, and uh, another cat long snap on. And then over here, um, Craftsman Stubby got some great necks, miniature or precision, uh, Enders, Pratt Reed, another Craftsman. And then got these little Tecton Stubbies. Uh, Weha SK Williams. I uh, got a Mac, but yeah, I love my screwdrivers. As you guys can tell, probably was on that a little too long. And here we go. This is my uh, pliers drawer. This is what I was talking about. I'm gonna open both of these because right there's a lot of wasted space, but uh, and I got more. I'll show you guys here. Um. I'll go through these quick. Uh, these are the Fujias. These are all Japanese. These first four. Um, got some needle nose. These are like the uh, bolt biters with the spring assisted. And some straight needle nose spring assisted. Some nippers. Some mat crimpers. I'm going to try to go faster, you guys. I'm sorry. These are protos, I think. Yes. Some protos. Um, more proto. Some nipex. The 180s, and then these are the 250s, Nipex, and more Protos, more Protos, Nipex, side cutters, some, these are the Icon, yeah, Icon bolt, bolt busters, some Snap-on, uh, big pliers, some Orbis, which is Nipex, uh, more Nipex, Nipex, and I got the three sizes of the, the pliers wrench. These are the 300s right here. These are huge. Love these. Yeah, these are highly recommended. Um, and right here I got the Mac um, Robo Grips. You guys will see I got a lot of Robo Grips. Uh, these are all next four snap-on. These are the small snap-on. 45 CPs, and then I got the chrome 46F or something like that, snap on, and then some more snap on, snap on, and I got the bolt, bolt cutters for uh, Nipex, and then over here we got the uh, Craftsman um, Robo Grips, and then we got these Olympia some type of robo grip and then some laminated craftsmen's uh some snap on black handles snap on black handle needle nose some craftsman western forge uh 
linesman pliers. Heavy duty, I like these. These are really nice. Uh, here's the other, I think it's snap. Yeah, this is a snap on part of that set. It was a three piece set. And I got the little five or six inch Robos or seven inch. And then some more Robos. These are the newer ones. Um, Craftsman, Craftsman, these are all Western Forge Craftsman. Then we got the Ninji Sauruses, Engineers, and then these are S SKs, and SK, SK, SK. Then we got some Sonodas, these are from Japan. <coughs> some Kleins, and then some IPSs, I don't even try to pronounce that, and then some more Klein, Klein. Uh, some more Sonodas, and we got the big Carters. Love these two, some old school Carters, and then some old um, Craftsmen, some old Craftsmen, and then uh, we got the little small Nipex. The uh, I think these are 125s, yeah, 125s. And then I got some Crescents, and I got the Malco Eagle Grips. And the bigger ones, I got the sevens and the tens. And then uh, we got the, these are from Harbor Freight. These are the Quinn Robo Grips. And then these are the original Robo Grips. Made in USA with the burgundy handles. And then got the big old SK. I think them are 12 inches. And then some Master, Master Crafts. Love my flyer, that's why I went through them with you guys. And over here we got um uh got the five inch uh the little guys these are the DeWitts and then the Milwaukee's got two of the Milwaukee the needle nose and the regular and then we got some snap on some craftsman circle eyes and then I got a set of the Nipex these are all Nipex and we got the Gadors needle nose and the regular and then these are all of ice grips, um, five inches, and got two pair of the needle nose, uh, seven inch uh, vice grips, and then we got some lock jaws. All right, wow, all right, 17 minutes, and done with the first box, I gotta hurry up. Now this is uh, oh, my ratchet drawer. So, um, I got a lot of, Got a lot of Williams ratchets. I got a few snap on. Um, what else? You know, some SK too. But uh, yeah, I, I I got these a while ago. You guys, I love these ratchets. Um, I guess I'm into ratchets, as if you can tell. This is way overkill for what I need, and I still got more. Um, but this right here, these Williams, I've been. These are like. I use these a lot. They don't look like it because I don't set my ratchets down. I clean them when I'm done. And I don't use them much anyways. Okay, I got the two Williams. Uh, we got a snap-on right here. Big boy snap-on. And this is my only usable Mac wrench. And I love it. It's a nice, a nice ratchet. I should say, not wrench. Um, I like these right here. These are the 70, I think 72 teeth Williams. Um, I got it, uh, I think I got the, the older one of it. Here's um, another Williams. And another Williams. Got a lot of Williams ratchets. I got the Icon. It's a nice ratchet too. I like using that ratchet. I got the locking snap on. And we got the SK. And then we got a flex head Williams. And another SK, another SK, and that's a snap on, and another snap on, and there's a, is that Williams, Williams, and a SK, flex head SK. I hit them up before they sold, sold it, sold their company. 
This is a Japanese little. I, I like it though. It's a nice wrap. And then I got this uh, Proto quarter inch. And then uh, this is a uh, Williams quarter inch. And this is, uh, I think this is a. Uh, Sparta. <laughs> can barely see it because of the glare. Then I uh, got a, uh, I guess this is a spark plug snap on. Then we got a couple, some SKs, real good condition SKs, two of them. And then I uh, got this gear wrench, little quarter stick. I call them quarter sticks, but you can put bits in there. And I got an easy red one, same thing. Got a quarter on that side, and put bits. And one of my favorite Harbor Freight tools. It's in my good drawer. So it's a Pittsburgh Pro, and it has a three eighths and a quarter. Definitely one of my favorites. I got a little easy red set right here, you guys. Same thing. This is no locking or no flex head or nothing. Just uh, straight in and get it. And uh, some gear wrench. I got this uh, Carlisle. Um, two more gear wrench of them uh, round head uh, spinner spinner ratchets. Uh, this is one of my favorite three H right here. Just Craftsman. This is a USA one. Um, real solid ratchet this is like my go-to three eighths to be honest with you i like that ratchet and then this is a snap on and then here's another one of my favorites too this is another it's not as favorite as that but i like this ratchet craftsman then we got another little easy red snap on little stubby and then over here we got, uh, uh, that's that super wrench, like that one other Williams. And then uh, I think this is a Power Craft. This is a Wards, Montgomery Wards, old one. These are like all my old ones, you guys. Um, Craftsman, this is Allen, Craftsman, uh, Proto. This is a Proto one. And then this is a Japanese one, Hunter. It's a nice ratchet, I like it. And then the the thumb, the fine tooth or whatever. Craftsman one. Craftsman, 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 Craftsman. This is a Stanley. And this is my old Circle H. I basically rebuilt this or cleaned it out, I should say. But it was stuck, wouldn't do nothing. All right. Um, now we're gonna go to the big red. Um, as you guys see, I uh, mess with you know, just stick try to stick to one battery platform, but got my little searchlight, I got the super sawzall, and I'm glad I have that right there because I don't have to always pull that out to cut and stuff. I got a little light, um, the seven and a quarter. Rear-handed saw. I wish I wouldn't have got rid of my five and a quarter one because um, this thing is big when you need little cuts. But yeah, um, this right this right here too saves me from having to pull that out. This little hacksaw, and then I got my grinder, uh, sander. I got other sanders. I haven't even used this one yet. These are all new, still in the box. And there's a jigsaw down there. I got another jigsaw I use because. If I do something big, I'll use that. I'll pull it out, but I ain't done nothing big yet. And then the router. And then I got the um, another. Uh, what is that? That's a you no know, the fuel um, oscillating multi tool. This thing right here. But I, I don't even know why I bought that. That's a waste of money. And then I didn't show you guys this drawer. This is where I keep my snap ring pliers. Um, little my like, roach clips i got a lot of them these are so handy you guys for i actually just used this i had a my ram changed my light bulbs in my ram and um 
long story short, um, there's a shortcut instead of taking your whole grill apart to get to the bolts. You just need a long extension, and I had that. And uh, the bolt came off the extension and was stuck on the thing, so my magnet wouldn't pull it because it was stuck on the fastener still. So these came to the rescue, no problem. Just clamped them on and pulled them out. But yeah, these are, I highly recommend them. Tweezers, I got the little vamp liar set, you guys got everything here. The little bolt extractors. Um, wire strippers, I got some Icon um, flush cuts. Uh, these are Utica side cutters. Crack channel lock. Um, uh, snap ring pliers, my bad. Channel lock snap rings and some Craftsman snap rings. And that's a little, um, a little measuring micrometer, whatever you want to call that. So I keep all my crescent or my uh, adjustable wrenches. Sorry, you guys. Trying to, I got like it's on a timer. If you motion, if you don't move, they go off. So yeah, I got some Miller's Fall, Craftsman, Proto, Armstrong, P and C, Mac. Williams, Crescent, Diamond Loy, X Light. Yeah. And then here we got this is my um, uh, Dremel. It's the Milwaukee Dremel, and this is that uh, oh, uh, the, with all the pieces the offset, the 3 8 chuck, 1 4 hex, right angle, right angle drill driver. And then I got some uh, down here. I got a couple kits for the Dremel. Clean stuff. That's how I clean my tools. But I'm setting all this up right here. Getting a sander. I need a couple more grinders so I can have my polish wheels. Because doing it with the Dremel just takes too long. So that basically does it for that box. Wild Twine. I'm just going to go. We're going to go faster. Um, basically here, this is just where I keep my... Chargers, uh, uh, board, pins, and that kind of stuff. And then here, this is temporary too, uh, just because these bend up real easy. So I don't like wasting room on these, but when I put sets together, I do use these and sell them. But uh, yeah, I got some Mac. Actually, this is from a, one of my, I just did a, state so i didn't put it on film because i got these mac um i got a couple of things on the table behind me and i got them small snap snap on pliers that i kept but yeah we'll go down here now this don't laugh at me you guys this is a uh, over there <laughs> that's how i keep some trays right now i did have my chromes on here but it didn't look right this is all sun x this is a complete master set kit from sun x from 30 all that i think it starts at let's see nine millimeter so i'm nine millimeter all the way to 30 for the deep and shallow and you get one um i can't get it in there uh you get the the swivel um so yeah i got the master set and metric and it goes up to 30 and it's missing i think like two of the tw higher 20s and then um this is the shallow part and then right here these are some sk and it's a small little set seven piece i believe 25 to 10 everything else missing and then this is the master kit of sun x for the three eighths in this metric, but it goes from, I think six all the way to 20, 22. And it comes with uh, swivels too. So it was a pretty good set. And then I got the, this is not called the master kit, but it was a complete set from four all the way to 15. And then the, it comes in with the standard too. I didn't have enough room for her to fill out so i got the rest of the standards right there and uh these right here this is mac and these are snap on and of course we got here we got a craftsman set another craftsman set and another craftsman set 
We got a Giller set here. These sets are all clean. These trays are a little scratched, but I'm gonna see if I can open it. So it's a real clean set. Um, back there, we got a Williams. Um, that's a metric Williams uh, set. Just like the snap, and this is a snap on. Same exact set, and that's snap on. These are all Williams right here, these, all these chromes. Um, back here, these are snap on Mac, Craftsman, or mixed in there, back there too. And then all this is this row right here is mainly snap on, maybe a couple Macs in there. And these I think all these are snap on. I mean a Mac. Most of these are Mac. There's a couple snap on in there. And I got some Crows foot, some snap on, some proto. Well yeah, that wraps that one up. And then uh, I'll go to now this is my I I my main set, my Tekton set, is six all the way to 24. Great set, I've been using it. Uh, I'm using my backup snap-on. Got a little set, I got this at um, the state sale. A little complete set of some side wrenches. Got a blue point ratcheting from eight to 19. And then I got some uh, line wrenches, snap-on, nine all the way to 21. And that's a complete set. And then these are all snap-on. Got some short wrenches and some special wrenches. Got a couple of Armstrong, Mac. Some Craftsman's. I'm working on some sets for some metric Craftsman. And some Mac, snap-on, another snap-on back there. And this is where I keep my hammers. Uh, I got a SK uh, Dead Blow. I got this actually from SK too, but I'll, whatever. But it got a nice handle, a ball peen hammer, and then some Vons, uh, Blue Point. This is an Armstrong right here, and there's no name on this one, but I like it. And then. Uh, this is my standard, everything in here is stand, uh, my SAE. We got that little Craftsman, I completed the set, I ordered them off of eBay. So that's complete, this is a little SK set. Haven't even opened it yet, and wasn't completely done with setting this up, so. I <laughs> haven't needed them. Um, got the big Weeha set, that's a one and a half inch. Listen to this. <laughs> Compared to, you get to the little one. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, it's a big set. That's a $1,400 set. I got it on sale for like a hundred and something. I got a complete set all the way from a quarter all the way to one and one half. And those sizes are skipped. These are ratcheting the Weeha on up. But I got some Craftsman, Proto, uh, Right Grips in there, SK. And we got some Max back there, some backups, some Craftsman's I'm working on to get a completing set, some boxing wrenches, Craftsman, Snap on, everything's in there. And yeah, that's that drawer. My drill, um, these are my American made ones basically, you guys. Brand new sets, these three. Good sets. I'll, and this is my replace, if I break something in any here, I'll replace it with that. And this is my precision drawer, teched in. Nice little set. Um, and this is another precision kit. This is that blue point tight fit angle drill kit. And then I got some tungsten. These are made in Japan. Little uh, mini tap set. You know eyeglass jewelers whatever screwdriver set you know these are all japan too good quality scissors love scissors got a lot of usa um uh brazil italian i got a lot of different brands i got some harbor freight ones back here and some home depot package ones these ones with the handle but everything else is pretty good staples and this is where I keep all for the drill. The drill doctor. Got everything. Scrubbers. I keep it 
everything new in here if I use it and I put it in the dirty pile and then we got the cookies and all that for the Dremel or for the uh, the sanding right angle sorry and this is where I keep all the big boys this is my uh, uh, 1300 got the one key uh, I don't really use this too much. I had the um, the original one before this. Um, same model and everything, just wasn't one key. And then the one key came out. So I've had this for a few years. And the other one I used a lot. I used, that's at the time I was working on, uh, I was flipping cars. So I was using it, but haven't done cars anymore. But I, I have used, used this a few times on busting for the trailer, some trailer parts. And there's the um, the mid one, and then there's the little stubby. So I got all the little. These right here are the. Uh, there they 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 put in work. And then uh, is this my? Okay, this is the Gen Three or whatever. Not the newest one that just came out. The one before. What uh, I think I'm looking for this. Yeah, the Surge. I'm looking for the Surge. This is the gun I use a lot. It's, and then I got the Gen 2 and whatever. And then store my batteries right there. Oh, we gotta hurry up. Jeez, 36. All right, last drawer. We'll fly through this. Oops, sorry, Gizmo. All right, um, this is just, I keep my kids' flashlight. They always ask for a flashlight, you know. We got this uh, Sportsman Pal. It's like the fishing pliers, kind of cool. Nothing really in there, you guys. And this is where I keep my clamps, some Stanley, um, handyman's, and I got a Craftsman and some other ones. All made in USA. And then this is where I keep my pipe wrenches. Uh, this is from that haul, my last haul that I didn't do a video, but I got some transmission snap ring pliers. I'll probably end up selling these. And uh, this is a Her brand, and this is a Lyle, it just says Made in USA. And then uh, some snap on um, hose clamp pliers, the bigger, big ones and the smaller ones. And a Hazette um, specialty tool. And some Thorson ratcheting flex head wrenches. I got all this except these little, never mind. But all this came from a. From a haul, I was gonna do a video on the haul, but that's basically the. You know, there's a couple good. I got some socks, some Max socks. I guess I should have. This is where I keep all my punches, chisels, and scrapers, whatever you want to call them. But I got some Snap on back here, and Craftsman, and Petco, and East Coast, and Enders. Uh, this is a New Britain. So I got some pretty good name brand ones, solid ones. Um, here, this is my 1930s and 40s, the blue point from like, I think this is from the 30s. No, 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 this blue point is it's from, the, this is old. And I got some underlying C Craftsman, all these underlying C's and some old screwdriver. I'm sure these are probably the oldest out of all these. And some Craftsman USA cushion grips, the whole set. And then my files, um, some goods. I got some cheap files. All these ones right here are cheap files, but these are all Nicholson and some I think are made from Brazil. And this is, keep all my extensions, um, my torque wrenches. I got the Quinn and then Pittsburgh, and then I got a Craftsman. And I got the Pittsburgh breaker bar guy. Uh, I think that's I forgot the name brand. It's a USA one though. A lot of I got a lot of um, Snap-on extensions and Craftsman. A little bit of everything, but I think Snap-on is a more dominant one in here. And a little. This is actually one of the kits I kept from. And I had a lot of uh, the Sears Craftsman from like around 2015. A little wobble set and the Sunlix wobble set back here, a little short finder. 
And then here, so then here's another pliers drawer full of pliers, robo clip, ro robo grips, um, channel locks, some ideals, some blue point, uh, spark plug, um, uh, some craftsman, some diamond. Mm -hmm. uh, some craftsmen, um, whatever them wrenches are, ratcheting wrenches, uh, some vice grips, some custom, nice though, like clamps, so I gotta find some room to put all these with my vice grips, and then uh, some more vice grips, and then some great neck, needle nose. Uh, here's just some router bits. Um, Square and uh, this is a Mac brass, um, whatever, not punch, but and then I keep all my uh, tape measures and there's a cheap little hammer in there, a lot of tape measures and cutters and levels. Ah, uh, this is my Mac collection, this is all my. Golden Mac. I was gonna do a drawer, you guys. I don't really know, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, look at that. Um, I want to lay it in a drawer, all these next to each other. But I got some cool stuff. You know, I, like I said, Mac's my favorite brand. I got a cool Craftsman one in here too. But yeah, I got a lot. Of these, but yeah, I'm trying to figure an idea with that. Can I go on this one? Yeah, this one. And then some more extra batteries. My 12 big old 12 O's. Got some eights in here, I think. Yeah, there's an eight. Some 3.0s. Some fives. Some sixes. I mean, don't. I mean, backups. And some other. I got these uh, for my. Uh, a lot more. I got it for a good deal, so I rock uh, the hyper tough. Works. And my ego batteries, a camera, and just where I just keep my tapes. Uh, here's a little ride for my kids. A nice little weak. Now this is a weak screwdriver. Barely works. And little cotter pins and O rings and all that. Uh, some Mac oil filter. Yeah, that's about it. Did I open this one? Oh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I think I showed you guys everything. This ran a little late. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I got my... Sorry, these saws right here. I got some Craftsman. Old school. That's an old Craftsman. And some Craftsman over there, USA. Yeah, I think I basically showed you guys everything. I might have passed a tour here. I know we got everything. Alright. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I know this one was a little long. Wow, 43 minutes. It's gonna take forever to download. Um but yeah, this is um and then my tools right here, you guys. This is what I sell. This is stuff for sale. There's good stuff in here too. Got everything in there. SK and Barklow USA. There's Powercraft, Blue Point. That right there back there is just all Taiwanese, Taiwan, all Taiwan. So good. There's some good stuff in there, though. But, yeah, um, all right here, look right here. We got, that's a 19-piece Craftsman. Good condition, like brand new. I got this at that estate sale, too, the last one I went to. It actually had, like, 13. I had six of them, same ones. I think them come from Sears. And then uh, some more device grips. These came from that estate sale. I uh, got some SK sets there, you guys. Yeah, there's tons of tools. Hey, I appreciate you guys again for tuning in. God bless, and I will see you on the next one.